Hey everybody, in this video we're talking about three things you need to know about perimenopause. We're going to base our discussion around this book by Lara Bryden. It's called The Hormone Repair Manual, Every Woman's Guide to Healthy Hormones After 40. In particular, we're going to talk about the stages of perimenopause. We're going to talk about something that Lara calls uh, brain recalibration that you go through during perimenopause and into your transition to menopause. And then finally, we're going to talk about one of Lara's top solutions for dealing with all the symptoms of perimenopause. Now, before we get into it, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Melanie from Female Fitness Systems. And on this YouTube channel, we talk about fitness, nutrition, and longevity. And we talk a lot about what's happening to your brain and body after 40. So if you're new here, consider subscribing to my channel so that you catch future videos from me. Now jumping right into this book, for those of you who don't know Lara Bryden, she's an amazing resource for women. She's got a blog and she also has another book called The Period Repair Manual. I've used that book so much in my own research and in my own practice with my clients. And I've also been lucky enough to have a mentoring session with Lara. So I'm a huge fan of her work. And I think that this book is a great resource for women after 40, as is her blog. So make sure you check them both out. Now let's get into those three things that you need to know about perimenopause based on what Lara has written in this book. So the first thing you need to know about perimenopause is when it actually happens. I know this is a confusing thing for a lot of women because even myself, you know that it happens in your 40s, but there's no test or no real clarity around when it starts. And in this book, Lara explains the stages, which will give you more clarity as to whether or not you may be in perimenopause, and if you are, where you might be along the stages of it. So basically, she says that perimenopause takes approximately seven years for most women, and it starts with what she calls very early perimenopause. And in this stage, you'll still have cycles, but you're going to be at the mercy of some changing hormones. And the usual state of very early perimenopause is lower progesterone and higher fluctuating estrogen. And that creates a lot of the symptoms that we experience in our 40s, like heavy periods and mood swings and sleep disturbances. And then you have the second and third phases of perimenopause, which she calls early to late transition, because this is just before you transition into menopause. These stages together can last about three years. And during this stage, your estrogen is fluctuating even more, and that can cause things like the hot flushes and the night sweats that so many women start to experience in their late 40s. And near the end of these two stages, you'll start to miss more periods or your cycles will become 60 days as a sign that you're nearing menopause. And then finally, the final stage is your transition to menopause, which is defined as a year without bleeding. So those are the stages of perimenopause as laid out in the book. And I think that's really helpful for a lot of us who just aren't sure where we are or how long it takes. So that's one of the really helpful things about the book is that it's going to help you figure out what's going on and where you are in the whole transition through to menopause. Now the second thing she talks about and what you need to know about perimenopause is how the brain changes during that time. She says during perimenopause, your brain undergoes a major reorganization or recalibration that lasts through to menopause. And in fact, this is quite scary. She says that during menopause, your brain can experience around a 25% drop in activity 
and energy. And for a lot of women, that feels like a muddy, foggy brain, maybe a little bit of memory problems. She says the good news is that if you look after your health, and in particular, managing things like your insulin and making sure that you're building muscles and just doing all those things to support healthy aging, that you will get through this transition and your brain will recalibrate and start to work well again. But for some women who don't look after themselves, they might not fully recover that activity and energy. So I think this is a really important thing to know. And I think it's a really important point that she makes in the book. For those of you who don't know, while I'm a personal trainer and nutritionist, I also have a psychology degree. And for me, how the female brain works and ages is just such an interesting and crucial thing to understand. So I think that this is something that I'm going to delve more into in the future on this channel. And certainly I have been talking about it all along, but I'd really like to get more into this whole brain recalibration thing because for me, that was one of the things that really stood out in this book. And then the third thing that you should know about perimenopause based on this book and what probably a lot of you are wondering is how the heck do you fix how you're feeling and what's going on? Now, Lara does offer some natural options, probably not as many as she talks about in her first book, The Period Repair Manual, but she goes a lot into progesterone. And so that's the third thing I wanted to cover in this video, the role of progesterone and progesterone therapy in helping you manage your perimenopausal symptoms. So in this book, she's not talking about synthetic progesterone like the types found in the pill or the hormonal IUD. She says those are actually progestins and they're different chemically than the progesterone in your body. Instead, she's talking about oral micronized progesterone, which comes in a capsule form. It's known as prometrium in some places, and in some places it's also known as eutrogestin. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but I'll put the names on the screen for you so you can Google them if you want. Now, I think that she does a really good job throughout the book of explaining the role of hormonal replacement therapy in managing your perimenopausal symptoms and how you might use them based on the symptoms that you're having. But one of the things that is a struggle for me is that I know that it's very hard for a lot of women to actually access this oral micronized progesterone. So the problem with it is that it's recognized as being for hormonal replacement for menopausal women, so women who aren't cycling anymore. And definitely here in New Zealand, that's something that I've run up against. So I have discussed this option with my doctor because I am so aware of Lara's work and I wanted to try it myself. And the first thing that happened is that the doctor wasn't even aware that there was such a thing. In fact, she said there was no such thing. So I had to go to a pharmacy and get an insert for her and drop it off. And then when she called me, she said she couldn't prescribe it anyway because the dosage of it would be really high and that just wouldn't work. I would have to take so much of it. And the thing is that she was misunderstanding how it was used and how it differed from the synthetic progestins that are in other things like the hormonal IUD and like Provera. And then even when I explained to her the dosage, she explained that she couldn't prescribe it to me anyway because she had to be guided by the regulations here which say that it's only for postmenopausal hormone replacement therapy. So because I was still cycling, it wasn't going to be something she could prescribe for me. So while I think it's great that Lara lays it out, I think for a lot of women, it may be a real challenge to get their doctor to actually be open to it. And one of the helpful things she does in the book is include sections on how to talk to your doctor. But even for somebody like myself, who is very educated on the oral micronized progesterone, I was unable to convince my doctor. However, I would love to hear from you in the comments if you have been able to convince your doctor to prescribe it to you, what you've been prescribed it for, 
and where you're based because it will not only help me out, but it will probably help out other people who watch this video. So that's my review of Lara Bryden's new book. I'm not affiliated with Lara in any way. I'm not being paid for this video. I just highly respect her work. And I do think that this is a great reference for ladies who really want to understand what's going on with their bodies. And given that you may have a challenge when you're trying to talk to your doctor about potential solutions, this book would be a fantastic starting place and a fantastic reference for you. I hope you found this video helpful. I love hearing from you in the comments. I'll answer questions there. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so you catch future videos from me. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time.